It's funny when a girl tells her story only to be told back that it's unrealistic. Almost as if they're afraid to believe it's real. For everyone who doesn't know, my mom's a bitch, my dad shot himself, my life sucks, and my brother's on a watch list. Not in that order, or, or maybe, I don't know. But last year, that combination left me at the worst, most predatory school imaginable. At least I thought it was the worst school. But then I, like, talked to other people, and it turns out it wasn't that bad. Well, no, it was that bad. It was just really standard. Other girls saying their gym teacher wanted to bang them. Their counselor texting them at 3 in the morning. I was the only one with a white nationalist photography teacher, though, so I guess that's something. But here's the problem. Mom won't listen, the principal doesn't care, and I still have all of senior year to get through. My life's just a game. A sick, hopeless game. Like, I've never really been religious, but if God is some introvert loser sitting in their computer chair, I really hope they can help me through this. Hey, you're on time. I'm already so fucking over this. All I said was hi. I wish I was hi. Do you think I'm here this early by choice? What is it this time? I'm still awake from last night because my mom accidentally took one of my brother's Adderalls. Instead of what? I don't know, like Oxy or morphine or something? They give old people heroin pills to mellow out over gas prices. Do those pills even look the same? Anyway, so she won't shut the fuck up over how many days I missed. I'm like, Mom, if I can't go to sleep, I'm going to miss another day. Well, wasn't she right? You're here early for the first time in forever. Oh my god, it's like I'm talking to a guy. Can't you just agree with me and say, yeah, she's a bitch? Okay, sorry, Nicole. Your mom is a bitch fucking whore. See, now I feel better. This is why we have friends. We're really white. Uh, Oh, guys, what's up? Did I tell you I got an iPhone for my birthday? That's, uh, that's cool. We talked to you like once a month. Oh. Well, yeah, it's crazy, because, like, I didn't know iPhones could do this much, bro. Will it kill an Asian child, or is that just when it's being made? That's, uh... Nah, but, like, there's all these cool apps. Like, I know there's YouTube and stuff, but there's apps where you can, like, shoot guns and pop bubbles and stuff. You mean games? It's not even, like, games. It's, It's just apps. Like, there's an app for this, there's an app for that. Is there an app that'll make you fuck off and kill yourself? Um, is that, like, a choke, or are we... Just go! (laughs) Uh, You guys are crazy. That alone was way too much in the morning. There's no way I'm getting through these classes. Are you going to skip again? What choice did he just leave me? I can't see anyone like him for the rest of the day or I'm going to go insane. Come on, let's go somewhere. I have a quiz today, Nicole. Oh, you're going to miss your Scantron memory game? Just retake it tomorrow. (sighs) Fine. So where are we even going? Why did we come here if we don't even know what we want to buy? Dude, we're literally in the mall. Just figure it out. Even if I do want something, it's just torture. I have, like, no money. Who said we're buying anything? Just steal the shit. Oh, okay. You think they have MSI stuff here? The band? Yeah, they're all in my shuffle, and they might be in town this Saturday. Oh. Is there a problem? No, I'm just surprised you like MSI, because you're so... Normal. Bitch, I could cut myself just as much as you do. I just have better shit to do, okay? That's not how it... uh, Okay, so what are we getting? I want a CD. And a shirt if they have one. It's one or the other. Why can't we steal both? You don't steal twice in the same trip. The only people here is us and some dad buying Skechers. Who do you think the security guy is going to have more fun gawking at? He wouldn't look at us. We're like children skipping school. Oh, those children are so hot. How many men do you need to see outed as sex offenders before you start seeing there's a trend? You know what? Pick for me, Nicole. Lead the way. This place always smells like plastic. Hey, how you guys doing today? Trody? Holy shit, are you skipping too? I dropped out. My mom forced me to get a job. So fucking not straight, I know. Okay, well, wait, how the fuck do you drop out? Uh, it's a lot of paperwork. You thinking about it too? That's okay. Yeah, you're the guy in the PBS commercials they make fun of. Oh, the tiny wallet commercial? Yeah, it's like 80% of dropouts, like... I don't know. The TV said you suck, so fuck you. Yeah, right. Do you guys get paid eight an hour to go to that bitch idiot school? (laughs) Wow, you thought that would impress us. Yeah, you're dumb, white, and broke. Shut the fuck up, you albacore-eating bitch. Hey, whoa, where's your manager? You can't talk to customers like that. Apologize, wage slave. God damn it, fine, sorry. Good. Now what sizes do you have MSI shirts in right now? 
The band, uh, I think everything but large. Damn, that's the one size she wears, too. Can you check in the back for us? What you see out is what we have, dude. If you don't check right now, I'm gonna tell your manager you didn't say hi to us when we walked in. Fuck, fine. Joke's on you, bitches. So I'm just gonna go back and pretend to look. Okay, grab the small. Let's go. Yeah, I was like, how the fuck do you think I'm a large? Come on. How'd you learn how to do that? What do you mean, learn? You can't just take the shit in front of him. Okay, so what's next? Uh, we leave before we get caught. We can't leave now. That was such a rush. Come on, let's go to the food court and steal some Dairy Queen. Do you hear yourself? <laughs> yeah, I guess it'd be pretty hard to jump the counter and fill a cone without spilling it. No, that shit's easy. Why would you risk getting caught over Dairy Queen? Should we try Sarku Japan or would the free samples lady chase after us? Literally anywhere but here. Come on. Oh god, I ate way too much. There's no way we can run out on the check now. How do fat people eat here? It's like pure sodium. Fuck, answer my own question. You wanted the patty melt. Since we're not paying for this either, I figured I'd demo some other part of the menu. It's literally just a burger where your mom forgot to buy buns. Who would voluntarily pay for that? Someone who butters margarine with butter? You think we got Trody fired today? I don't know. I don't care either, weird. Most of our friends just get jobs to buy Adderall. But he has to like support himself with that. Yeah. Almost like he has to deal with the consequences of his actions or something. Since when do you of all people worry about accountability? I don't worry about it for my actions. I'm too smart for consequences. It's the one time I feel kind of bad for a guy because he can't do any of the stupid money jobs like pole dancing. Yeah, if I was dumb as shit, being a stripper would be awesome. Though I'd feel ripped off because I learned how to read from nothing. What if you're too shy and just work at Hooters? Dude, Hooters is even worse than a club. It's a legalized brothel. What? How? How do you know this? My cousin works at one. She says half the girls blow dudes for like $300 tips and then wonder why they're getting stalked the next week. That's really specific. That really happens. So what's next? I think I want to go back to school now. Dude, you know you're going to end up sitting there bored. I'd rather do that than end up the dick-sucking girl at Hooters. You can just say girl at Hooters. The dick-sucking's implied. Check, please. I'm not even paying for it. Just get up and leave. Strolling in at noon together. You girls had a busy morning. Yeah, you don't know the half of it. Not even a quarter, if we're being honest. Well, the sign-in sheet is on the desk. The unexcused column. I think you know it all too well, Nicole. Unexcused? Yeah, we kind of miss class for very traumatic reasons. Yeah, trauma has to be one of the excused hardies, right? For some reason, I don't believe you. But today, I think that's your problem. Is being a fucking bitch your problem? Nicole! Excuse me? Oh my god, it was the trauma. I'm so sorry. So why don't you both enlighten me to the source of this trauma that's caused absence after absence? Uh, okay, you're gonna want to take a seat. I've heard it all, Nicole. Uh, no, you really haven't heard. Whatever she's about to tell you. Go on. We just came from the doctor and we, um, we tested positive for HIV. We did? We, we did. And the nurse told us we might be AIDS positive because we went so long without treatment. We won't get the results till later, though. You both went to get tested together at the same place? Yeah. And where was that? Like the, like the Springfield Clinic? And you expect me to just believe this, shouldn't you? Think about it, Miss Lynn. If you believe us and we're lying, it's just a little prank. But if we're telling the truth and you don't believe us, you're gonna have to explain that to the local news. And we'll have to explain that to the national news. How our principal made us cry while we're literally dying from AIDS. I, I need to see some documentation, girls. Do you realize the odds? How would you even get HIV in high school? We didn't get it in high school. Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing, but we go to a lot of swinger parties with homeless people. Homeless swinger parties? Yeah. And it's TMI, but I have a unprotected sex fetish, so it all kind of adds up. Yeah, and I have a sex in general fetish. Small world, one of my... 30 boyfriends has that too. 30 boyfriends? Oh yeah, when a Dominican construction worker cat calls me, just immediate relationship. Yeah, I love Jekka, but she's a major whore. I don't get paid. So you both got your results for HIV? Did the blood work and everything? Yeah, that's what we said. What's your T-cell count? Uh, I, I don't get it. We don't take shop. You don't take shop? 
Yeah, they use T-cells in shop class. What's that have to do with AIDS? That's a T-square, Nicole. Fuck! No, if you knew, why'd you look at me? I didn't know how much we were supposed to say. How the fuck would I know? You said we had AIDS. It all comes out. And coincidentally, I have a lovely way for you girls to spend your Saturday afternoon. Or you're expelled. This sucks. This really sucks. We're almost set up here, but thank you to everyone for coming to the AIDS Awareness Speaking. We have about 10 guests here with their journeys to share, and we hope you can all learn a lot from them. I could be at the MSI show right now, but now I can't because I listen to you. Oh, don't say that. Don't say we have AIDS when you don't know what the fuck a T-cell is. Like she was supposed to believe you had a Rolodex of 50 guys? It was 30. It was fucking stupid. And she didn't ask about T-cells until after you said that. 30 guys? What are you, a public restroom? Whatever. Why is AIDS such a big deal anyway? Isn't Magic Johnson like the healthiest man on earth? Huh? Magic Johnson? He got AIDS like 20 years ago and he's fine. Who's Magic Johnson? Is that a porn star? I don't think so. My dad talks about him a lot. You don't think your dad could like a male porn star? Nicole, I'm already here. I don't need to also have a crisis over whether my dad's gay or not, okay? Hey, did you get an email quiz from Miss Lynn? About the Saturday thing? Yeah, it was almost late filling it out. Like, it wasn't enough for us to just go. She had to know we were there somehow. Yeah, but if she wasn't there, how would she know we're telling the truth? She could record the assembly and play it back later. But then just record the crowd so it shows we went there. Female teachers are fucking insane. It's all about a power trip. And the male teachers? Pedophiles. Pedophiles. How'd you know what I was going to say? I'm noticing a trend. No, vote for Pedro shirts were a trend. The other thing's just forever. Okay, well, I'm going to go to class now. Are you going this time? Why? To not get forced to go to an AIDS assembly again? That didn't happen because we skipped. That happened because we lied about why we skipped. Well, okay. Are you looking for a classroom or another excuse right now? My God, you sound like my mom. Whatever. See you later. Hey, Nicole. You got a minute? I got my whole life ahead of me. Doesn't mean I'll waste it talking to you. Oh, totally. But, I I mean, nah... You see, I was asking around and wondered if you wanted to go to the knife collector show, the expo center. Why the fuck would any girl want to go do that with you? No, it's not like a date. It's, uh... But yeah, how are you? Are you a human text message? Um... uh... Is that the alert that you're typing? Sorry, it's just kind of hard to talk to you. Good. So what you doing today? I wonder what the guy from Cody Banks is doing right now. Oh, hey, Nicole. You over here, too? Oh, great. Yeah, I just, like, I couldn't even handle whatever was going on in class and stuff, and I just had to break loose from it all, you know? Like, I don't know. These teachers are just crazy sometimes. That was the longest possible way to say you're also skipping. Oh, no, like, yeah, um... Hey, I like your shirt. Okay. It looks kind of deep. Is there, like, any sort of meaning behind it? Dude, how the fuck should I know? You picked it out, I thought, you know. I go to the store, it looks nice, I buy it, and not for an artistic conversation with someone dressed like a bad religion fan. Oh, well, hold up. I'm not really, like, a bad religion fan. I only like maybe, like, four of their albums. I'm real happy for you. Yeah, but, I mean, it's cool that you know about them. You like a lot of rock? That was the most weekend dad question you could have possibly asked me. What's that mean, exactly? What's going on out here? Torture. Oh, hey, Megan, what's up? I'm just on my way back from the bathroom. Oh, yeah, cool. I like your shirt, by the way. Oh, thanks. Yeah. No, it's, like, mega fucking cool. Is there, like, a thing with it? Like, a story? Actually, there kind of is. It's, um, well, I don't want to waste your time. No, no, I I got time. I'm hanging out. Dumb fucking bitch. So it was custom made, and it was basically a whole story on my journey with, like, finding myself. They should make a game show where a guy eats everything in a vending machine. And if he loses, he's gotta, like, take his shirt off at the pool or something. I'm so dead. Then there's a bunch of hot girls in the pool laughing at his imperfections. I can't. What do I do? Okay, Ari, what is it? Wait, what? I didn't- Bitch, do not play this game with me. What game? I was just sitting here talking- Shut the fuck up. What is it? Okay, well, I'm supposed to be in physics right now, but there's this project due, and I have literally nothing. Yeah, so... Wait, this doesn't make sense. What doesn't? 
If you cared about the class this much, wouldn't you have done at least some of it? It's not the grade. The teacher's just gonna, like, yell at me in front of everybody. They do it because they care. Not because they're paid shitty and weren't smart enough to work at a university. You think their salary determines how smart they are? Isn't it just a number on paper? They think our grades determine how smart we are. Let's see how the fuck they like it. Okay, but that doesn't solve my problem. I've been here for the last ten minutes and I can't think of any good excuse. Is it like a two-day project or a three-week project? Closer to three weeks. Huh, what's a problem that lasts more than three weeks? Could you pass for pregnant? I hope not. What works for me usually is saying I have depression, but you can't use that. Why not? Because I use that. If too many kids start saying it, it won't work anymore. All right, I'm just gonna go to class and get yelled at. This sucks. Or you could drop out and live in a methadone clinic. How would I pitch a game show to Spike TV? You there! Hold it! Here we go. Wait. Oh, how could you run this fast? Don't make me call security! Hey, you dropped something. Whoa! That is a shit ton of cocaine. I wonder if it's real. You just wait till I call your parents! Shit, she's coming back. Nicole? Hey, Miss Lynn. Rough day at work? What's going on with Braxton? None of your business. Why aren't you in class? Oh, uh, I was just on my way to the bathroom. You came all the way out to the main foyer on the way to the bathroom? What, do we need bathroom GPS now? Tell me what class you're in right now. Civics? It's okay, I'm going now. Don't worry. I'll walk with you. No, that's okay. You don't have to. I insist. Wow, you can ask me out after? On a date? Why would I do that? Wait, you're not a guy teacher. Sorry, let's go. And as I hope you remembered, today is the final day for submitting your community service sponsor. If you don't get those hours in, you cannot graduate. Oh my god. Nicole, so nice of you to join us. I tell you to kill yourself in your garage, but you probably only have a two-bedroom condo with your pets. (laughs) I'll pretend I didn't hear that. I trust the rest of you will be taking the community service hours seriously. I guess. You guess? Kelly, who's your sponsor? I'm volunteering for the county police department. Wow, that's lame. Something you'd like to add, Nicole? Yeah, why would you help the people who screw us over with speeding tickets? The office is really close to my house. I don't have to drive or anything. So you're going to fuck the rest of us over just so you can save on gas money? What did I say about the F word in this class? Sorry, bitch. Are we just supposed to drive as fast as we want? The police are here to keep us safe. Is that why I take it's $200? They're keeping my safe. Holy shit. Huh. Funny that a girl so critical of our legal system is failing civics. Funny how you teach the most expensive car you could ever afford. (laughs) All right, Nicole. If you're so in tune with the needs of the people, how about your cause? My what? Your cause? Your sponsor for the community service hours? You've had two weeks to set something up. Now tell me with who. About that. See, um, I've sort of been going through a lot right now. Of course. Let's hear it. Let's hear another marvelous excuse from Nicole. I've been diagnosed with clinical depression, so I haven't really gotten out of bed much lately. Depression? Yeah. It's from all the PTSD and some other letters. It's that bad? You couldn't at least think of a community service sponsor? Well... I tried a couple times, but when I did, I just started cutting myself. (gasps) Why? Um, because I'm a burden on everyone around me, and the community would be better off if I was dead. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. That's really not good. Oh, no. Am I bringing the mood down? Sorry. If anyone has a gun I could borrow, I could just take care of myself now. A gun? (laughs) Shit, I left mine at home today. Oh my god. Do you need someone to talk to? No, I don't want to bother anybody. Unless it's for a gun I can use to blow my worthless fucking brains out. Oh no, wait! Okay, Nicole, this is not for the classroom. I think you need to go to the counselor's office. But don't I need a community service sponsor? We can worry about that later. Just go to the counselor. Okay... And you're sure you don't want me to kill myself? Because I will if you want me to. I'll fire it right in my mouth. My nose will bleed like the Chocolate River from Willy Wonka. No, please don't kill yourself. Right, Mr. Katz? Well... What the fuck? No, no, we don't want you to kill yourself. Just go. Hose. Oh, Nicole, come in. Your civics teacher told me you'd be visiting. Have a seat. 
Sure, but I thought these were one-on-one sessions. What's she doing here? Normally they are. However, I thought I'd try something different given you're both here for the same reason. What reason? Depression. You bitch! Nicole, I understand you're going through a lot right now, but that's no excuse for lashing out at Ari. Sorry, won't happen again. Not like she did anything to deserve it, right? Ari, using an I statement, please tell Nicole how that made you feel. This'll be good. Um, I feel like you might not be considering my own situation, too. That's very good. Thank you. Now, Nicole... Please respond using your own I feel statement. Go ahead. Ari, I feel you're a conniving fucking bitch. How's that? This is going to be a long session. Nicole, wait. What? Need another excuse to steal? No. Well, no, it's just... What if I wasn't making it up? Making what up? At first I went to class thinking I'd lie about the depression, but after talking to the counselor, I'm starting to realize there's something I actually am depressed about. Okay, cool. Talk to him about it. I can't. All right, fine. Fuck off then. Bye. Wait! What is it? It's something about me. Something I really can't let him know or he'll tell my parents. What, are you gay? What? How did you know? I've never told anyone that. Dude, look at your hair dye. You're either gay or colorblind. But are you... okay with that? I mean, I wouldn't use that color, but do what you want. Not that. I meant... the other thing? Are we in Nebraska now? No one cares if you're gay anymore. Are you sure? This is the most 80s conversation I've ever had. But my cousin in West Virginia is gay. He says it's horrible. It's West Virginia. What the fuck isn't horrible there? So, around here... You really think no one will care if I'm gay? Maybe like a weirdo or two, but everybody's gonna be like, look at that asshole. We're in a white-ass high school ten minutes from the capital. This is such a non-issue now. But gay marriage isn't legal here. Were you looking to get married? I don't know if I'd ever want to get married. So why do you care? And by the time you do, it'll probably be legal anyway. I'm not that optimistic when it comes to our government. Ari, you're white. You could be triple gay and the government's still gonna worry about you. You really think so? Oh, hey, Nicole, you still hanging around out here? Did I tell you that's a cool shirt, by the way? Look, hey, Crispin, you want to hear something about Ari? Oh my god, don't! Ari's gay. She's gay? Yeah, like lesbian gay. Oh, that's cool. Is, is there, like, another part to the story, or...? Go down to the cafeteria. You'll find it there. Oh, it's like a mystery. That's pretty cool. You're so creative inside. All this time, I thought this would be the end of my life. If you lived in Texas, it would be, but this is civilization, dude. Well, I'll see you around somewhere. And thanks a lot, Nicole. I feel kind of free for once. Fuck off, bitch. You still stole my excuse. Now I have to think of a new one. You didn't start depression, Nicole. I never said that, but I started using depression as an excuse at that school. No one was doing that before me, and now that she took it, everybody's going to water it down. Do you feel like you're getting to a point where the excuses for not doing homework are more effort than the homework itself? I don't know. Hold on. What's another mental disorder I could pull off? Quite a few. Yeah, but whatever I pick, I'll need to research at least a little, right? No, you don't. Mental illnesses are like horoscopes. You just look up symptoms that loosely fit your personality. Holy shit, where's my laptop? Oh, wait! Schizophrenia. Good choice. No, I forgot to tell you what happened after the counselor. Ari came out of the closet to me in the middle of the hallway. Closet with a glass door? I thought everyone knew that. Yeah, that's what I said. She thought it was like this huge deal. Well, wouldn't it be? What if someone homophobic knew? Yeah, who? I don't know anyone at our school who wouldn't vote for Obama. Holy shit, I can't think of anyone either. This area is like so Democrat, you're just preaching to the choir. Yeah, no, last year this gay guy sat at our table and was immediately the most popular person there. Because he was gay or... I mean, kinda. He quoted Amanda's show a lot, I guess he was funny. And no one gave him shit or anything? I mean, Kyler came up to us, but everyone was like, what's his problem? That's exactly what I told her. Well, as long as she's happy, like, whatever, right? I'm so happy for her. So happy I have to see her ass every week with the counselor now. And I wanted to say, Ari, how proud I am that you've been able to come to terms with your sexual orientation and openly share it with the rest of your peers. Thanks, it's just kind of liberating to tell someone I'm gay, you know? Every chance you get. Truthfully, you are so brave. Liberal high school, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Everyone's been so supportive. I can't believe there was a time when being gay was so 
hated. You believed it last week. Yes, yes. Times have certainly changed. Isn't this supposed to be a group therapy? Is there something you'd like to add, Nicole? Just thought it'd be worth the time to spotlight the progress we've made as a society. Though we still have a very long way to go in terms of sexual identity and acceptance. What's left to accept? Transsexuals, for one. But also the rather silly notion of controlling other petty qualities of our partners beyond gender. Financial background, race, religion, and even age. Here we fucking go. Age? Why would someone have a problem with age if they're legal? But isn't that the problem? Letting legality control love? The state law says you can't marry another girl. But does that mean it's wrong for you to love her? No, but I'm pretty sure age is one we... you know... Society creates laws. But laws didn't create society. I hope both of you girls realize we should never be critical of anyone's preference regardless of what your parents or TV says. Like gender, age is just another thing on your driver's license. Um, how do you feel about that, Nicole? Do you have an I feel statement? I feel like he wants to fuck children. Yeah, but that's not true, right, Counselor? Like, you wouldn't date a 15-year-old, right? Would you date a 15-year-old? Maybe, but I'm only 17, so it's not illegal. I just said, going by legality means you'd be in the wrong, too. Did you say in the wrong, too? As in you would date a 15-year-old? I never said that. I'm merely open-minded enough to not doubt the romantic value of anyone of any age. You're trying to sell a teenage girl on pedophilia using her own gayness as leverage. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god. Fuck your therapy, your tennis pedophile love 15 looking bitch. Let her go, Ari. She's just having a personal moment and needs her space. Uh, okay. By the way, I didn't want to make Nicole jealous, but your hair looks absolutely beautiful today. Actually, I'm gonna go check on her to make sure she doesn't, uh, kill herself. Nicole, wait. Wasn't walking. That wasn't, like, a normal thing, was it? No, him campaigning for that is a pretty normal thing around here. You didn't know? Not that. I meant you sticking up for someone like that. I never really seen you do that. Sticking up for who? Me. Okay. I... I really appreciate it. Uh-huh. This is... Um... Oh my god, this is so fucking stupid. Kinda is. Nicole, I've, um... Since we started doing this group counseling together, I've actually kinda been thinking a lot about you. But not in a weird way, right? No, it's... It's in a weird way. Oh my god. I really, really like you. I'm sorry. It's just, you were the first person I came out to, and what you said in there, and your whole look, and I think I'm in love with you. In love with someone you know for two weeks. Yeah, you're real stable. You're not, like, all sketched out now, are you? A little, but it's not like you're a man saying this. How is it different with a man? Men kind of have a tendency to rape and murder. I'm not sure if you've seen a TV in the last forever. Oh god, that reminds me. I never even asked you. Ask me why. You, um... Do you like girls, too? Do you want me to? Y yeah How badly? Extremely. No pressure, but I might cut if you say no. Where do you cut? On my upper thigh, so my parents don't see. Damn, that's actually kind of hot. It is? Yeah, because you look too normal to cut, so it's like a fun surprise. Are you messing with me? No, seriously, it's like a cheerleader with a nipple piercing. Ooh, wild side. Really? Do you cut too? Duh, but it's not hot when I do it. It's like, look at that trashy hoe, I bet she cuts herself. I don't think you're trashy. I don't think I should have an F in gym. Shit happens, though. So, if you think I am hot, would you want to start dating? Uh, yeah, I guess I'll try it. <gasps> really? It'd be really funny if I said no right now. Please don't do that to me. No, okay, I'll do it. You have a car to take us out? Yeah, my mom's old Camry, and only three of the windows are broken. Does it have power seats? No, they're just manual. Ugh. Oh, but I could borrow my dad's Lexus if it makes a difference. It makes a difference. Okay, I'll see you after school. I love you. Bye.
Why do you take me to a bookstore? It's like the library, but all the books are new. Do I look like a bitch who reads? Not even Harry Potter? It's like coming of age relatable and stuff. There's no Percocet in Harry Potter. How's it relatable? Hey, Nicole. Didn't know you read here, too. We had to stop in the graphic novel section. Do you know him? Not really, but I'll take care of it. So are you reading some manga with your friend there? Oh, she's not my friend. She's my girlfriend. Girlfriend? But you're... Hold on. Do you have a problem with two lesbians going to a bookstore as opposed to literally anything else? Though, it's good to be yourself. You guys are just a little different. Like me. We are nothing like you. And why's that? Because while you're beating off to your little anime book, we're going to get fucked up on whippets and make out. Hey, that was completely uncalled for. Wow, don't freak out when someone makes up a joke about you. It'll make people think it's real. But I have done that to my manga. She shouldn't act like it's wrong, though. Oh, God. Shouldn't have helped him. I've seen him around before. I didn't know he was fucked up like that. By the way, I started a YouTube channel. Y- you guys want to see it? No, we gotta go buy Whippets. I never tried Whippets. Do they taste bad? And then the counselor got so weird, he called my mom and told her I might have schizophrenia if I ever mentioned he was a pedophile. And what'd your mom say? She believed him. We had like an hour-long fight over it. Right, honey? Right, honey? Dude, I said don't call me that in public. Oh, I thought it was don't say it in private. If I didn't want it in private, why would I want it in public? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm still getting used to your boundaries and everything. Boundaries? I didn't know you're dating a marriage counselor. What's up, queers? Nicole. Dude, he's not going to do anything. Heard you guys were dating now. What are you, special or something? Why do you care? Sorry to hoes like you always looking for attention. Find one other person in this room who cares. No one's falling for this bullshit like you think they are. Hey, Hunter. What's up? They're saying they're gay now. That's fucking dumb, right? Uh, Obama might be president soon. Who's worried about being gay anymore? Dude, fuck Obama. He's a bitch. My dad's voting for McCain. Why would he vote for McCain? He's a fucking war hero. Maybe then we'll nut up and nuke the Middle East. Oh. Well, sorry, dude, but your dad sounds really fucking gay voting for McCain. What? No, no, you're gay! Eventful. Thanks for taking care of that, Nicole. No problem. Hey, could you go to the longest pizza line and get me four slices? Yeah, sure, anything. Okay. Why aren't you going? You won't kiss me on the cheek first? Oh my god. Okay, I'll be right back! Ugh, disgusting. What, are you straight again? No, I have dollar store foundation on my lips now. Ugh, this could double as baby formula in Pakistan. She's your girlfriend. So? So take your bitch to Ulta. No, already trying to limit the exposure. That's why I sent her to the pizza line. But you haven't even dated for a week yet. Fucked up, right? Did she do something wrong? She just gets really awkward when you're around her for long enough. Awkward how? Okay, so she was in my room while I was changing real quick. Then she saw one nipple for like a second and was all, Oh my god, I'm sorry I look, but you're so sexy, you're so sexy, I'm so lucky to have you. Like, bitch, fuck off. I've seen her with guys before, I don't know why she's acting like such a virgin. She's probably just a virgin with girls, it's like a higher echelon. But if she's so gay, why was she even with guys in the first place? Because hooking up with a guy is the easiest thing on earth. Even if a girl's gay, she's gonna try it at least once or nine times. Wait, so first time you're curious, second time you're bored, and ninth time you're just trying to keep the lights on. And I just want to see how cool it is that you guys are so open about this. Right? Yeah. I kissed a girl at a party once, and I totally get the appeal. Lesbianism is just so, so bold. Have you thought about, like, going full-time with it? You mean, like, gay married? Yeah. Fuck that. Then I wouldn't have a rich husband. Isn't there more to a relationship than money, though? Maybe. I see you guys ride around in that beat-up Camry, and it's cute. But I'd never cuff a broke bitch. Can you believe her? Yeah, these by curious hoes, fuck them. By the way, did you wanna- Hold on, I'm replying to something. Okay. Are you done? No, shut up, hold on. Nicole, I, I don't really like it when you tell me to shut Just up. Just fuck up, okay? Maybe quit the box die, it's fucking your brain up. <gasps> oh shit. I, um... Hey, listen, uh... I'm really sorry for not respecting your boundaries. I promise it won't happen again. Oh. What? I was totally in the wrong. You had every right to say that. Well, as long as you're sorry, you dumb bitch. I know I'm a dumb bitch. I'm sorry. I love you. I think I'm starting to love you too. 
You guys see the new Smallville? Dude, Smallville's for straight people. Who watches that shit? You were straight three weeks ago. Yeah, and I didn't watch it then either. Guess it's just universally bad. I saw a couple episodes once. It was okay. Was anyone asking you? Um, no. Just checking. Anyway, I was gonna buy lunch today, but the lines are like so long. It's probably spicy chicken sandwich day. Oh, and I want one. Me too. Ari, get us the chicken sandwiches. I'll pay you back. But the line's gonna take forever. Can we just- Don't you love me? <sighs> okay, I'll go. Cool. Yeah, and get me two if they have enough. They're big. You gonna eat two? One for now, one for when I'm depressed. All right, you got all that? Be right back. You're forgetting something. Oh, right. Sorry. Mwah. Good girl. Don't make me ask again. I know. I love you. That's nice. What the fuck? I know. What's her problem, right? No, what the fuck did you do to her? She's like your pet now. Yeah, so you know how I wanted out of the relationship? What I thought would be more fun than breaking up was just seeing what I could get away with. Get away with what? Dude, like everything so far. I'll literally call her a bitch to her face and she'll just apologize and kiss me on the cheek. It's such a power trip. Uh, it sounds like abuse. I get that. But honestly, if it is, abusing feels fucking awesome. Don't knock it till you try it. Yeah, but you know why you're getting away with it, right? Oh, let's hear this. Because you're her only option. So you're taking advantage of the fact the only lesbian in school knows there aren't any other lesbians to date here. She's basically stuck with whatever you want to put her through. She can break up anytime she wants. She's not stuck with anything. Okay, so she breaks up to move on to who? The only girl willing to date her is her abusive ex-girlfriend. And? No offense, but you're like an evil fucking bitch. No, okay. If you're so high and mighty about it, why don't you tell her everything you just told me? The dynamic, the game, everything. I don't know her like that. Awkward, ew. If only life was like TV, where friends spill their hearts out to people they barely know. You probably don't even watch anything good. You watch Smallville. You're evil. You're friends with someone who's evil. You're friends with someone who watches Smallville. Holy shit, don't say it that loud. Again, I apologize for the misunderstanding we had last time the two of you came in here. I would never want to be mistaken for an abuser. I can assure you that. Uh-huh. Abuser? Yes, anyway. Nicole, it's been a while since we've chatted. What's going on with you? What's going on with me? Yes, if you'd care to share with us. What the hell do I say to that? A variety of things. You could speak about what you did over the weekend, or something that's caught your interest lately. Ari and I are here to listen. Okay, well, I heard Kanye West just got out of jail. Really? Tell me more. Um, he was in jail, and then he wasn't in jail. So why was he in jail in the first place? He broke somebody's camera, and now his new album's delayed or something. A new album? Do you think it'll be as good as his last album? No. Why are you pretending like you know what I'm talking about? I'm not pretending. Just having a conversation. Uh, name one Kanye West song. Um, I can't think of any off the top of my head. What are some of your favorites? Dude, you're so fucking gay. Nicole, you know that word isn't welcome on this campus. I'm gay now. I can say it. The F word. But the homophobic one's fine then. Well, out of respect to Ari here, I wouldn't say that's fine either. Ari, how does that make you feel? Well, actually, I actually wanted to ask something. When you said we mistook you for an abuser. Yes, go on. Like, how? You, you weren't violent or anything. I don't get it. Abuse can come in many forms. Not just violence or physical assault. It could be psychological, emotional, financial, anything that asserts control over another person. Like how you want to molest kids? I think they call it sexual abuse. Nicole, what did I say? Something about fucking kids? That's it! This session is over! I'm sorry, but you'll both have to come back at a later time when you learn how to behave yourselves. But I didn't- Out! Finally, fuck. He's like the guy in every sitcom's pedophile episode. Every sitcom has a pedophile episode? Yeah, where the kids learn a lesson or whatever. Oh, yeah. Nicole? What? Could I ask you something? No, sorry, I don't have any more kisses today. The kiss factory's closed. Somebody died. No, it wasn't about that. It was, uh... Why are you dating me? Why am I dating you? Why am I doing anything? I don't know. It's just, 
I was thinking about what the counselor said in there. Dude, your shirt isn't see-through. He's just a pervert. Well, no, that's a way bigger problem, but I'm just talking about us right now. What about us? I'm just thinking, like, what we've been for the last couple weeks. You mean awesome? Maybe awesome for you, which is good, but what he said about how abuse works, it kind of made me worried. So I'm abusing you? Uh, I don't know. If you do, I don't think you mean to. When have I ever hit you or anything? You haven't, but the emotional abuse and how it controls... You're really putting weight into what the fuck he says? He's a counselor. He knows about this stuff. I'm your girlfriend. I pay for your five guys. He wants to put his dick in a child. How am I getting outclassed here? No, I always have to pay when we go to five guys. Okay, well, your dad drives a Lexus. Don't worry about it. But I'm just saying, like, how are you going to let our freak fucking counselor put all these ideas in your head? Nicole, I've had these ideas for a while. All he did was give me the words to tell you. Tell me what? I don't think we should see each other anymore. So, I'm losing my girlfriend because of the pedophile counselor? I'm sorry, Nicole. I got dumped before the counselor got reported. Well, I'm gonna go home and kill myself. Is dust off the same high as whippets? I never tried dust off. Really? Why is that surprising? You've tried everything else when a guy offers. Why would I flirt with a guy to get a free hit of dust off? You can get the whole thing at a store for like three dollars. Only three dollars? Yeah, have you ever gone to a Staples? Oh, Staples? What, are you too high school musical to walk into a Staples now? No, every time I go in the one near school, the manager always flirts with me. He's like, let's find you a new computer, sweetie. What if he just wants to sell you a new computer? With his hand on my ass? Okay, a little late on that detail. You don't complain when the guy at Paxson does it. Because the guy at Paxson can get me something I actually want? I'm not going to make out with a manager for a free pencil case. Are you saying you made out with a guy at Paxson? You're gay, right? Don't ask, don't tell, bitch. Not gay anymore. Oh my god, I forgot. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. No, it's okay. I'm over it. Are you sure? Didn't you, like, try killing yourself over it? Honestly, not really. Like, I got in the tub, caught a little, then the water was really nice and warm, and... I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. I get that. Oh shit, she's coming over here. What? Why? Hey, Nicole. Hi? I just wanted to talk a little again, see how you were doing. You haven't showed up to the group depression counseling in a while. Yeah, I sort of quit that. I figured it would be awkward and everything. Kind of like this. Sorry, I know. I just worry a lot. Uh, Are you trying to get back together again? I don't get it. Yeah, uh... That's not exactly an option for me anymore. Hey, Ari, what's going on? Oh, nothing. I was just wrapping up here. Who's this? Oh, yeah. Um, Nicole, this is my boyfriend, Hunter. We've been dating for a couple weeks now. Hey. What the fuck? Is something wrong? Oh, uh, I was just thinking about Staples. The store? Long story. Ari, I gotta get back, but your tray is at the table for you. Aw, you're so sweet. Thank you, Snookums. Who the fuck says Snookums? What was that? Oh, sorry. What I said was, I thought you were gay. Okay, I knew we'd have to talk about this eventually. Are you bisexual now? Honestly, no. What the fuck? Are you thinking about Staples again? No, like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, how can you have a boyfriend if you're not bisexual? The truth is, I still love everything about girls. I love how they talk, how they laugh, how they use moisturizer, how they do makeup. I love how girls do their hair, how they smell nice, how they don't wear the same thing every day. And I really love how they hold your hand and how it feels when they kiss you back. Dating you helped me find the words for that, Nicole. Then you're dating a guy because... Because, like... Even though I feel that way, I have to be honest with myself. Girls are kind of high maintenance. Girls play mind games I can't figure out. And so the month we had together made me realize something else. Realize what? I realize that guys turn me off, but girls make me want to fucking kill myself. You bullied a gay girl into being straight. She's not straight now, she's just gonna be miserable for the rest of her life. Big difference. Are you seriously not getting how bad this is? How bad what is? You bullying a gay girl into being straight? I didn't 
bully her. I was just abusive while dating her. What's the difference? One's homophobic, the other's just regular bad. So you get how bad this is then? Bitch, you watch Smallville. Do you get how bad that is? That's not gonna work this time, Nicole. What the fuck is this? Why do you even care? Whatever. Whatever what? Are we not friends anymore? Well, I wouldn't want you as an enemy. Holy shit. No, explain to me how this is any more awful than anything I usually do. Because usually you do it to men? I'm like, was that overboard? And you always say he'll end up a rapist or pedophile anyway. But she's a teenage girl, Nicole. She is a gay, codependent teenage girl, as if it wasn't hard enough. What's your excuse this time? That bitch stole my depression idea. Fuck her. You should have said nothing. You ever feel guilty for just wondering if you should feel guilty? She poured her heart out again and again over how she felt about me, but it's like, isn't she better off? Like, I told her it's hot she cuts herself, and I wasn't lying, but am I really the one here? Going by Jekka's bitch morality, abusing her was a good thing. Figured it out sooner than later, right? But then you gotta ask, would you rather be alone, or have a hot, twisted bitch who demeans you in public but gives amazing head? These are the real questions that plague society. I wonder if it's like that for the other physically bisexual, mentally gay girls. Talking with straight guys must be so fucking weird for them. They're both worried about what girls are thinking. Both go into depressive fits when a girl won't text them back. They experience the same dating dynamics, and yet they will never bond over it. Because the guy will say, well, if you're sad and lonely, I'm here. And she'll go, I'm actually more gay than bi. And then he's like, all right, bitch, fuck you then. Guess you don't know how it feels. I'm not saying I've seen it, but it's totally possible. Did I have a moral with this? Fuck.